Are you wondering how your water systems work in your Tab 400 or other RV? Well, I'm gonna tell you in this Take 5 episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna to talk about the water systems on your trailer and on a Tab 400, both our city hookup and our fresh water fill are located in this little compartment outside. So we're just gonna use our key to open it up and you're gonna see two different valve fittings here. One is to actually hook up to what we call city water. And that just means we're gonna actually hook up a fresh water hose to a spigot, and there's gonna be a constant supply of water to our trailer. So if you're in a campground, for instance, and your site has water at it, you're gonna be able to hook up to that. And all you do is hook it up, turn the water on, and you're good to go for the entire time you're camping. It's gonna give you an endless water supply as long as your, either your tanks hold up or if you're on a full hookup site, um, you can go ahead and drain those as you go. But if you are on a site, such as in a state park, for instance, where you don't have water at your site, then we're not gonna use the city hookup, we're going to use our fresh water tank. On a TAV 400, you have a 30 gallon tank. Depending on what unit you have, your tank size may vary. So I just pull the cap off and then we're gonna go ahead and insert our water hose into here and then fill it up either before we leave home or once we get to the park, usually there are places where you can fill up there. And so once it's full, and you'll know it's full because for instance in a Tab 400, it will literally just start running out. So I usually just fill it until I see water coming back out and then I go ahead and close it up. And again, remember in a 400, you have 30 gallons of fresh water. Now let's go inside and see how we're gonna get that water to our faucets. Now I'm inside my New Camp Tab 400. If I'm hooked up to city water, well, I'm always hooked up to water supply, so I can just go ahead and begin using my faucets or my shower. However, if I'm using the water from my water tank, then I need to actually turn on my water pump in order for the system to pull the water from the tank up to the faucets or the shower. So I'm just gonna come over here in the tab 400 and find the switch that's labeled water pump, and I'm gonna turn that on. Now, when you first turn it on, you may hear just a little bit of a surge, like Rrr, and that's just kind of getting the air out of the line. And the first time you turn your water on, you may actually see some sputtering, and that again is just some air in the line. Let it run until the air's out of the line, and then you'll be fine. One of the questions comes up uh, on our channel a lot is, should we leave the water pump on all the time? And I think some of that is a preference, but for us, we shut it off when we're not using it for a couple of reasons. Number one, there's always concern about battery draw. Now, obviously, if the pump's not running, there's not gonna be a draw, but we do have this little light, and I know it's probably not that much, but I, again, in my mind, mentally, I'm saving battery. So we typically just shut it off. Number two, we want it off in the evening, when we go to bed because we just don't like that little blue light being on. So really it's up to you, but we tend to leave the water pump on unless we're actually gonna use water and then we go ahead and flip it on. Now the water pump will bring water to your sinks, your shower, your outdoor shower, your toilet, anywhere that water is going to flow to. So if you're running off that water tank, make sure you always remember to use your water pump. That's about it. So two things to remember. City water means you're hooked up to a faucet and you'll have an endless supply of water. The water tank is where you're going to put fresh water that you're gonna use your water pump to bring to your sinks and your faucets. If you have any questions, let me know, drop them down below. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.